Hey guys, Anthony here. It is Sunday, July 15th, 2018. Uh, I'm here this morning just uh, organizing my uh, control center here. And uh, you see behind me the new Feel Free uh, Lure kayak uh, that I have. I've taken it out a few times already. Uh, I have it parked here uh, with no problem and stored and ready to go. So I just wanted to make this video to give you guys a glimpse of this uh, great kayak here parked uh, where I store it and how I store it. I just have it on top of a um, cot, like a camping cot with a blow up pad under it and a little blanket. So when I bring it in the garage, I just slide it over, uh, carry it in, slide it over onto that, um, onto that uh, cot. And uh, I've got a nice little kayak uh, holder, so it stays out of the way uh, on the edge there. The garage doesn't get in the way of my table here that's in the uh, setup. And um, so right now I'm liking it uh, the way it's stored. Eventually, uh, what I want to do is um, I'm thinking about getting a kayak trailer because I think that right now topping this on my van is going to be a, a little bit of a headache. I'll give you guys a walk around of the van rack uh, so you can see it. Uh, but basically, uh, it is a pretty, uh, pretty big load to get on top of the van and get it secured. So I'm looking at some kayak trailers if anyone has any uh, suggestions. Uh, I looked at a couple of the um, pre-made trailers by Yakima, Malone, you know, the regular standalone kayak trailers. And they look around in the range in the vicinity of between eight hundred and a thousand dollars, so a, a little steep there. But um, I'm looking at also one of those, you know, Lowe's trailers that you get with the flip-up gate in the back. Uh, they're about five hundred bucks, I think. Uh, if I look uh, today, I think it's a four by six or a four by eight. <clears throat> It has a flip-up gate, so you could use it for other things as well. And then uh, I think it's Malone makes uh, four side braces that go up and attach to those trailers and give you a rack to go across uh, to put your kayak on and then secure it onto the cross beams. And then you still have the whole trailer to carry gear in and stuff like that. And I kind of like that setup, and I think... Um, with my Yakima Skybox that's just above here. Uh, you can't see it right now, it's where the camera is. I've got some videos on that Skybox. I have the full size one. I think with that Skybox, I may even be able to mount it uh, onto those racks as well, along with the kayak side by side. I just have to measure. I think the, the cross beams are 65 inches, so I'd have to measure. My kayak is uh, 34 inches, and I'm not sure what uh, this is maybe a little bit too much, um, not enough space on top, but I'll, I'll measure. But I could also put the Yakima Skybox inside the trailer, maybe rig it some way to mount it on the bottom, and then have a covered storage for gear, and then have the uh, kayak mounted on the top. But we'll see. So I'm still experimenting with those things. Um, again, if anybody has any suggestions or information, uh, right now I'm hauling it. I have a work vehicle. I have a, a GMC pickup truck uh, that I use for work uh, that I have been putting it in the bed of the pickup truck and just securing it with some tie-down straps. That's working fine, but I can't always use my work vehicle. I'm using it right now just to get to the local lake. But I don't want to take my work vehicle, you know, across country or um, just not allowed to do that. So um, I've got to figure something out either topping it on the van, putting some noodles onto the, the cross beams of the van and kind of sliding it up top there and tying it down or getting some type of trailer. The thing with the trailer is I've got to store it in the uh, control center here so I don't want something too big. Uh, so again I'd have to take apart the table and stuff here and make room in the center of the floor for that trailer. The nice thing is the kayak can be on the trailer at all times ready to go all I have to do is hook up and drive drive away so 
that's a, a really good thing what I like about the trailer setup and it's a lot less on your back getting the uh, kayak on top of the van on and off the van so uh, thinking about that and that's why I wanted to do this video to see if you guys uh, had any suggestions so thanks for watching I'll try to get this up there and um, see what kind of comments come back take care stay ready